Okay, this is going to be a pretty cool video where we're going to get into uh, how to control how many times an offer gets shown to vid individuals as part of a test, uh, offer capping. So this, uh, this question came to me by way of Twitter. Uh, this person was, was, uh, came across a blog post that I did a year ago with the onset of COVID and uh, it was a pretty popular blog post where it talked about different use cases and companies using COVID. So essentially uh, in that blog post I talked about using uh, Adobe Target Profile attributes to control how many times uh, generally an offer gets showed for, for an individual. Uh, that blog post is uh, here. So how Adobe Target can help in the craziest times. And so uh, this Q's case here is just simply incrementing um, impressions every time an inbox is seen. So every time the Adobe Target server call would happen, this script would execute and the impression count would go up. Uh, in fact, here you can see here using the Chrome extension, uh, whew, lots of impressions. You can see I'm playing with several different profiles here. Um, so 3,500 and 3,600 uh, impressions. So the question that this uh, gentleman had was they wanted to kind of expand on this. They wanted the, uh, the profile to only update when a certain offer was shown. Uh, currently how this profile attribute works here, I'll show this here. Do, 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 impressions. So it just increments every time the inbox is seen. There's nothing tying this impression count to the offer or for that matter, the activity that, that's taking place. Um, so the use case, the question that uh, came up here is, how do um, you want something that's showing the first impression, but if, you know, they, they, if their impression is to be greater than one, you want to reset the impression count when I added a new experience. So, um, and, and the second scenario here is, uh, multiple activities targeting the same home page placement. A customer is eligible to fall into two activities. Let's say they fall into the one with a higher priority setting in their first visit. Uh, that would be impression one. On their next visit, they fall into another activity. Let's say they no longer qualify for activity one. So basically what this is, is coming down to is, is tying impressions to offers or, or activities for that matter. Uh, very, very doable. And, and the approach for this is, is, is two ways. Uh, two things we need to do. We, we inject this as part of our activity. This, this injects a, an Adobe Target server call. Uh, so I'll go ahead and I'll set up an activity here just showing you or I'll grab one. So here's a live activity. I'll do this one on my site. So here I've got uh, targeted footer. That's an activity on my site right now. So let me go here. Targeted footer. Do, 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 do. I could spell. There it is. Okay, so I'll come here. So experience A. Which experience am I in? So targeted footer. I'm in experience B. So let's come to experience B. And I will just add in some custom code. Do, 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 do. And um, what this will do is it's going to fire a nested inbox or a nested server call. So activity uh, one, two, three, four. I'm simply going to hit save. Do, 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 next, next, save and close. Do, 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 do. So what will happen here is we're going to have an additional server call uh, that's part of that activity here. Do, do, do. So I'm going to filter on that. Okay, so I'm going to refresh the page. I should get two server calls. There I go. I've got one. Do, 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 do. And the second one. Do, 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 do. So this one is... There it is, activity one, two, three, four. So I injected a unique inbox name that's very, very specific to this activity. Now, where the impressions come into play is we're going to set a profile script. So essentially, when this inbox one, two, three, four, activity one, two, three, four is seen, it's going to update this uh, attribute. So we go to here, do, 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 profile scripts. So we're going to create a new script pass that in here. We have to name this one, two, three, four, because 
essentially what we're doing is saying if this inbox is seen, which is this inbox or server call, comes from that activity, then grab this profile attribute right here and update it by one. Um, and that's it. Now this can be used in a particular audience. So I'll go ahead and activate this here. Act live. And now within an audience, you can actually use this. This will be part of your profile attributes uh, within here. So it'll, it'll be, give it a few seconds. It'll show up. You can see impressions and uh, that'll show up on this particular list as well. Um, so very cool way. This is very, very helpful. I'm going to go ahead and remove that nested inbox call. I don't need to have uh, that inbox call firing on my site. Um, but I want to show you just one other way. Um, one other way that uh, some of the advanced companies that I work with uh, uh, do this. So um, here I'm using Launch to deploy my Adobe Target. So at the end of Launch, you've got the ability to, or at the end of AT.js, you get you're allowed to uh, custom code event handlers. So all of your uh, and this is probably uh, a lot to cover here in just a few seconds here, but essentially you can use the offer names. The offers are, prof are response tokens. They can be used. So here I'm using, and I'm pushing like activity name and experience name. I'm pushing this to a, um, a variable that allows me to kind of push data to uh, Google Analytics uh, as well as other solutions as well. So this, this is a way a lot of companies use um, CDPs to control the offer counts and impressions and, and things along those lines. So, um, but yeah, definitely more of an advanced use case. But for this, um, setting an inbox call and then a custom profile is a quick and easy way to get the uh, impression capping in place.